Hi, these info sessions are part of a wider user uptake strategy of the European Commission. One of the aims of that strategy is to stimulate the development and use of innovative downstream applications that incorporate Copernicus data and services. But before going further in any downstream use, we need to have a clear overview of the different data access points available. In this module, I will show you how to use a catalog browser to download satellite data. The objectives of this submodule are to provide you with an overview on where to access the satellite data available under Copernicus program, to present you shortly the registration process, to show you the browsers with which you will be able to download the satellite data. But before going further, let me remind you that there are two official distributors of Copernicus satellite data. Although the four dedicated access points, two are managed by the European Space Agency, while the two others are handled by UMEDSAT. In this particular info session, we will discuss both of them. Let's see first the Sentinel missions we will have access to. Sentinel 1, 2 and 3 are already in orbit while you see the potential launch date for the future missions. This slide also gives you all the information on the resolution, the revisit time and finally, on the right, who from ESA or UMEDSAT is managing the data. Of course, I remind you that all this information will be provided under full, free and open access. Even if the Sentinel family is the backbone of Copernicus satellite data, there are a lot of others contributing missions that are indicated here. Their access is restricted to authorized users only. So, let's have a look at the ESA mechanisms for registration. Once on their website, I invite you to have a look at the following sections, such as Data Access Navigator and Latest News, which will provide you with all the recent changes and the new features available. If we jump on the Data Access Navigator page, we can read the five mechanisms that are available to access Sentinel data depending on your user status. This table summarizes almost everything you will see that some mechanisms are dedicated to specific users, such as the Copernicus services themselves, for example. So in the next slides, we will focus mostly on the two mechanisms that are not restricted the Sentinel Scientific Data Hub, which is full, free and open, and the coordinated data access. Let's start with the Scientific Data Hub. You will find it really easily on the ESA website. You will find plenty of information. It's really user-friendly with a self-registration process. The Scientific Hub is full, free and open for anybody and gives access to Sentinel 1, 2 and 3 through a graphical user interface. More than 1,000 new products are published every day. In the graphic user interface of the Scientific Data Hub, you can define an area and a period of interest, specify Sentinel mission and any parameter related to the satellite imagery. The search results show the metadata of the image and the thumbnail. The images can be downloaded directly, also limited to two images at the same time. To automate the download, you can use an API hub. We are not going to describe it now, but you will find more information on this API hub on the ESA website or on the dedicated info session. The second mechanism we are going to talk about for ESA is the coordinated data access system called CSCDA. It does not work with a self-registration as the previous one. You have to be an eligible user and it can take up to 72 hours to get registered. Through the CSCDA, ESA organizes the procurement of EO data from Copernicus Sentinel's missions and from Copernicus contributing missions, such as Pleiad, TerraSAR-X, Cosmos SkyMed, Iconos or QuickBird. Details on the conditions, data licensing, ordering mechanism, product types available, delivery timelines, Everything is available following the links on this slide. Concerning the datasets available through CSCDA, they are twofold. The core datasets, which are a fixed part of the data offer, consisting in a continuous data delivery from systematic missions or generation of large predefined coverage. The access rights 
are specific to each data sets and are defined in the section of the portal. Examples of data sets are provided below. And then you find the additional data sets. They are a variable part of the data offer for which 40 data types categories that are defined in terms of resolution, service type, such as rush, standard, archive or new tasking. Depending on their requirements, eligible users are granted a quota by the European Commission and may order data within these data sets. Eligibility is defined in the access rights section of the portal. To access the CSCDA, everything starts with your online registration. Depending on your eligibility, you can either have access to the subscription mode, giving you access to the predefined datasets, or to the ordering mode with quotas of orders. Not now that we have described the ESA mechanism, let's jump to describe the UMEDSAT data access. UMEDSAT offers a range of data delivery mechanisms to meet the needs of the users. The first one is UMEDCAST. It's a multi-service push dissemination system based on a multicast technology. The multicast stream is transported to the user via satellite. Then you also have the Copernicus Online Data Access CODA. This download service offers all Sentinel-free marine and atmosphere products through a rolling buffer which is at its maximum will span up to 12 months of data the data center long-term archives. You can order application that enables users to browse and select from UMEDSAT's long-term archives of products, including the Copernicus Sentinel Free Marine and Atmosphere product. And then UMEDView, which is a visualization service that allows users to view UMEDSAT's data and Copernicus Sentinel Free Marine data in an interactive way using an online map viewer. You can see that these mechanisms are available directly from the UMEDSAT's homepage. UMEDCAST is UMEDSAT's integrated dissemination system for the delivery of near real time environmental data, including Sentinel Free and later on Sentinel 4 and Sentinel 5. UMEDCAST's satellite service has a coverage over Europe, the Middle East and Africa. The key features of UMEDCAST are the following. It targets a large audience and delivers a wide range of Earth observation data. The near real-time data stream includes Meteosat, Metop, JSON 2 and 3, Sentinel-3 satellite data and a wide range of third-party satellite data services. This service uses low-cost, user-friendly satellite receiving equipment similar to the one of your TV. A secure delivery of data files to target audience with guaranteed service level. Then we find the new online data access, CODA. It's an online rolling archive with an HTTP access. It provides access to Sentinel-3 Level 1 and Level 2 global data in near real time short time critical and known time critical latency mode. The current service provides a 14 day archive of data and this will increase to a one year archive in the coming months. For longer time series data, UMEDSATs provide an archive ordering system through the data center. The user manual explains how to use the online tool, including how to download everything via an API. It's easy to display the downloaded images using the standard GIS desktop applications. Now let's talk about the long-term data archives. This data center provides access to the long-term archives of Sentinel-3 and UMEDSAT's missions data. Its key features are the fact that the order option allow you to select your chosen format, spatial and spectral subsetting and apply data compression. Orders are automatically processed and smaller orders are delivered within a few hours. Resulting data can be retrieved from an online server, HTTP download, or via offline media, depending on the volume of the requested data. The data center catalog spans the whole satellite mission's life. 
It guarantees the long-term preservation of this data, which are critical for generation of climate data records. Finally, you can use the UMED view, which is a visualization service to view UMEDSAT's data, such as Meteosat, Meta, JSON, and of course Copernicus Sentinel-3 marine imagery. Everything can be seen in an interactive way using an online map viewer. With UMED view, you can choose a layer, select the date range and the area of interest, and display your chosen visualization. You can run an animated loop or download your selected visualizations. Let's note that UMED view implements the OGC web map service WMS interface standard and can be used to request and overlay products in GIS client supporting OGC WMS 1.3.0. Now that we have described the different UMEDSATS data access mechanism, let's see how to discover and register to the services. To discover the full list of UMEDSATS products, you can choose and use the product navigator. This central catalog lists all UMEDSATS data, such as Meteosat, Metop, Chazon, Copernicus Sentinel-3 marine and atmosphere products. It includes as well the third-party products disseminated via UMEDCAST. To access this data, register through the central EO portal. First, create your account. From within the EO portal homepage, select your chosen delivery mechanism, such as the one we talked just earlier, CODA, Data Center, UMEDCAST. For the CODA and the Data Center, simply follow the links to access the service directly. For UMEDCAST, you have to complete the detailed registration steps to subscribe to the data streams you require and to request the quantity of UMEDCAST client software packages you need. For CODA, separate login credentials will be emailed to you. In the future, you will be able to use your EO portal credentials to log into CODA. Finally, please note that UMEDView is available without registration. On this last slide, you will find all the useful links summarizing useful UMEDSATS resources and contacts. That's it. You know exactly where to find Copernicus satellite data. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps.